What's going on guys? It's Anthony Wrench to Out Garage. Happy Wednesday. It's garage talk time. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, 100th time. Hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me here. Let's dive into today's video. So I have been super busy with uh, yard projects, house projects, and much more. So I apologize up front because this isn't going to be the traditional you talk about the truck or car. We will talk about those things today, but the focus is this ever changing environment here in the garage. So summer is right here and in front of us. In fact, I think we may have had a record day here in Alaska. We hit the mid seventies, absolutely gorgeous. And it's prompted me to kind of kick these home projects into high gear. And what that means for me is, well, let's take a step back here and take a look. This is relatively clean compared to what it was days ago. Uh, I have been using the shit out of the truck, going and getting gear and uh, yard stuff. And when I say yard stuff, I built a patio, went and got a new chainsaw. I've been chopping down trees and bushes and all this stuff. This is badass though. This is the uh, still MS-251. It is the farm boss edition chainsaw. This thing's done an incredible job uh, for the work that I needed it for. I've had several chainsaws in the past and so far I only used it one or for a day. Um, but for the better part of a day and it killed it so i do have a lot of uh, several days worth of work with this and i've got some future plans for using that for a couple of things if that pans out as well so we got that going on um cleaning out the bradley so i use a bradley smoker it's this guy right here to my my backyard there's your smoker mine's similar to that one except for it's not all digital i think it's a grade below that one uh gonna finish cleaning that up and get rid of it uh, be simply because i think the temperature fluctuation where i'm located makes it very difficult for the bradley to hit temperatures if you're not familiar with smokers just disregard it but i ended up going to and i threw these up here because i was really busy the camp chief uh sportsman's edition obviously from the uh, sportsman's warehouse pellet grill the thing's incredible i've already cooked a brisket in it i cooked uh pork shoulder in it and i cooked some other things that i for whatever reason i was cooking a lot on it's incredible if you guys want me to do a video on showing you either one of those smokers let me know i'll, I'll uh, be more than happy to do a video on it there's the pellets for the smoker uh, i've got some rope got some mixed fuel that was for tree some tree cleaning that's the pizza brick oh that was the other thing i cooked the pizza on the new uh camp cheap incredible super simple to do um incredible pizza enough talking about that stuff uh the garage itself i have the boosted auto tow mirror unboxing video dropping this friday so make sure swing by check it out it's uh i'll walk you through what you get if you're interested or going, going to be buying the boosted auto tow mirrors for your truck whether it's a chevy ford dodge doesn't matter uh the packaging is gonna more than likely come with all the same stuff as i said earlier i used the shit out of the truck over the last few weeks hauling stuff i did a couple of dump runs super happy with that so far i still have to get an alignment done um in fact i need to do that here relatively soon with this whole covid19 deal and all of that it uh makes doing stuff like that kind of difficult so i do need to schedule it because you can tell the steering's off just a little bit but i ripped apart the whole front end put it all back together so that needs to be done i'll just say i can't do it here i don't have an alignment rack um or I guess the skill required to align my own vehicle in my garage so that needs to still happen um, I haven't driven it a whole lot just as a disclaimer um, because it needs an alignment I did do a couple of trips back and forth uh, to the hardware store to get the equipment and stuff that I had already talking uh, that I had already talked about so um, that's that's in the shoot check the oil on this I've ran this a couple of times ran it up the street um, I need to just clean it up, check my gear, and get this thing ready for the road. 
pretty quick here. The D21, for whatever reason, is not running. I don't know what the deal is. Um, right now, I have the battery charger sitting back on it. It's kept starting and running fine. And then I don't know if it is uh, the battery at this point or if there's some kind of weird fuel issue because I've added fuel to it. Um, never had any issues up until about two weeks ago I, I did a video right after or i did a video during during it right after i did that video parked it alongside the house went to uh, pull it back down and for whatever reason it's just acting goofy so i gotta figure that out because a i want to get it in here in the garage and swap the front end suspension and start working on the uh, energy suspension upgrades i have planned for it and i'd like to get my trailer out so I can um, load this up and get out get out when I can. Obviously, I can't just do it whenever, but when it's nice outside and when I have the time to do so. So all of that's coming. Um, obviously, I'll do some garage talks based around each one of those. Talking about garage talk and a as a whole, if you guys have questions or comments, um, let me know. If there's something you guys want me to elaborate on, if there's something you want me to explain or show you, uh, let me know a example of that was i did the video on the pvl 2300 utv lift and one of the comments was hey why didn't you lift it um i there was no real reason why i didn't lift it i when i shot the video i thought hey i it would be cool to show you guys this stuff and i pulled it out so i will be planning on shooting a video on lifting and kind of going through the motions on it actually in action here in the next week or two or three whenever i get time and I'll, and i'm more than happy to share that with you uh that goes along with any other specific things that i've covered in past videos obviously i have to have the vehicle though so if you ask me about the ram rebel i can answer it the best i can but i don't own the vehicle anymore so i can't just go out like if it's the chevy i can go to the chevy shoot a video and show you if it's the Camaro, I can't show you. I sold the Camaro. If it's the V-Rod, I can't show you. I can, if it's something I know the answer to, I will be more than happy to discuss it in a video like this or drop a comment down below responding to you. Uh, most comments, not all of them, I respond to pretty quick if you have one down there. With comments, if you guys are commenting and you are liking the videos, please give it a thumbs up. I'm trying my damnedest to A, produce new content every week for you, whether it's a garage talk where I'm just BSing with you about a chainsaw and a smoker, or it's uh, me taking the time out to cut the tow mirror videos or go over any more uh, install videos or, or what it, whatever it may be. Um, so the likes, the, subscri the subscribes, the comments and all of that stuff, um, that's I guess just paying it paying it forward or paying it back saying hey thank you to me and, and i do i do appreciate it believe me um as i've been doing this for a little while now and your comments like i said earlier your comments are the ones that make the difference if it's hey why don't you try this hey why don't you i'm more than happy to do that if i can do that in some cases uh with like some of the camera videos why don't you shoot it at uh from a wide angle well, some of this I can't because if I'm shooting in my garage and it's winter time, like I, like I worked on the Camaro a lot, the wide angle, and actually there was a vehicle here, the wide angle for like the front splitter, that was when I got several comments on. As soon as I get out of the garage, the wide angle misses, uh, will end up being too wide for the garage and you're gonna end up, I'm, I'm going to end up not shooting what it is you were looking for one of many examples that shit doesn't matter what does matter is i hope you guys are enjoying the content it's tuesday night here this is coming out tomorrow so i gotta hurry up get this video done uh cut it edit it get it up online for you guys again we have the uh, tow mirrors coming out on friday i've got a lot of other backlogged videos that i'm still trying to kind of work through i'm trying to do the two to three videos a week um as often as i as time permits and as i'm allowed to uh given all the stuff that's going on exciting stuff is summer is is in full force i i know that i i don't really talk about a lot of like the chainsaw type or smoker type or paintings type of stuff but to me this is part of a garage this is if you 
are a DIY kind of person, if you're a mechanic type of person, if you're that kind of guy, this is this is the shit that happens in my garage on a regular basis. It's uh, I've got a family, I've got kids, I've got uh, a yard, not the biggest yard, but I got a yard. I've got uh, projects going on, not only in the garage, but outside. The garage though is, is the main hub for me, being the guy that's orchestrating all of these projects and all these things that I'm doing. So it's the hub and kind of the connector because I use it for everything. I've got my painting project kind of staged up here with uh, the rollers and the paint brushes and I don't need that, but um, mixer, my paint, um, all that. All that I have to do there is get some time when my little dude's asleep or on the weekend when he's outside so I can paint. Um, and that's how I kind of do stuff. I got this, I got the chainsaw, I got the uh, fuel additive, made my fuel. Um, this is gonna be uh, being used again through this weekend. So I'll do that, sharpen the chain, get everything ready. As Soon as it's done, move it into one of my storage sheds or, or leave it in here if I have other projects. And it's a perpetual kind of uh, uh, use of the garage that's how I use my garage I know everybody does their things different some people have shops some people don't have garages so that's how I use mine and that's the reason why in some cases when I'm doing garage talks or what have you um, it, it may seem and I've caught myself doing this when I when I have watched or read comments it, it may seem like it's like oh I'm cleaning the garage again and that's because I don't feature a lot of this kind of shit and I need to so I can kind of incorporate you guys in the bigger, kind of the bigger picture of what's going on. Enough of me ranting and raving, guys. I hope you guys are doing well, both on the health and safety side of things. Um, I hope your families are doing well. Um, the the economy deal, I it, it's a very tough situation. It's tough for me, it's tough for my family, it's tough for a lot of the people that I work with because we're directly related to the oil and gas market, to the mining market. And I hope we all get through this the best that we all can um, as individuals, as family members, as parts of the community here in America, and as America as a whole. Uh, it means a lot to me to uh, be able to say that pr very, very proudly. Um, but hindsight of the situation is there's a lot of variables at play, a lot of state and city mandates that are going on. And to be completely honest, at this point, even me just mentioning it right there for, for a couple of minutes, aside from I do genuinely hope that you all are doing well, both on the financial side and, and the health and safety side. But aside from that one segment, diving into it all at all, um, I have little, little interest to do so simply because the shit's exhausting, um, depending on what sector you work in, depending on if any anybody in your family has been affected. Do you, uh, the mandates and, and what whatever your local area is doing, you may or may not believe in, and I'm not gonna sit here and argue any of that stuff today. I will say, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Anthony, this is the Wrenched Out Garage. Again, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna dr continue dropping Wrenched Out uh, garage garage talks every single Wednesday so it may be this it may be doing some cleanup it may be uh, walking through some of the shit on the truck the d21 the razor um, it may be it could be anything uh, it's kind of fair game that's how I'm looking at it but we still do have a lot of install videos and much more so if you guys are riding and driving especially because it's summer it's uh, it's summer so you're gonna be getting out on your bike maybe getting out on your UTV Maybe you are driving your truck. Whatever it is, do it safely, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.